Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shankar Gumare and in this video, I will demonstrate a vulnerability that I recently found in Tesla vehicles. In early 2020, I started working on an app called Voice for Tesla. The idea for this app was to build contextual aware, aware active voice assistants. The app would be something like Amazon's Alexa, Apple Siri or Google's voice assistants. But it would provide active assistance, meaning that the user could begin an interaction without a wake word. My idea was to initiate an interaction process based on a given context. For example, announce the electric vehicle range before starting a journey, remind backseat passengers before the driver leaves the vehicle and so on. I initiated my project in three phases. The first phase was the research and development phase in which I built tools and I tested them using a regular computer. In the second phase, I built the actual app, but I ran all the tests using a remote connection. And in the third phase, the app was finalized with the real in-vehicle testing. The first phase was a bit difficult. I had to find proper tools or write a few of my own. So I also had a bit of flexibility since everything I needed to do was on a computer instead of uh, being on a mobile device. In the end, my test setup was something like this. In my initial research, I learned that Tesla had implemented phone key feature using BLE or Bluetooth Low Energy Device. In total, there are two different Bluetooth devices or sensors being used in, in the vehicle. First, BREDR for regular Bluetooth tasks such as streaming music or you know, syncing contacts. Second, BLE for phone key and proximity using iBeacon. I use my test harness to read all the information transmitted by these Bluetooth devices. Of these two devices, BLE was the most interesting device. It was open, meaning that no authentication was required to make a connection with the vehicle and it was transmitting a lot of codes. This is what I was looking for, a perfect trigger for my app. The next phase was to re reverse engineer the proximity detection algorithm so the app can detect user presence near the vehicle. I knew based on my early research that Tesla vehicles are equipped with iBeacons, so the obvious choice that came to my mind for proximity was iBeacon protocol. However, iBeacon is a proprietary protocol and there is a very little chance of supporting default implementa implementation on Android. So I started querying further and I found a custom implementation in which the vehicle would simply calculate the distance from connected device with the strongest signal strength. At least that's what I understood. I ran a few tests, uh, tests using phone key and very soon realized that my understanding was correct. But this logic had a flaw. Remember, I mentioned earlier that BLE was an open device with uh, that would allow any unauthenticated devices to connect. So in simple words, the algorithm was created to check for the strongest signal from connected devices and device proximity to the vehicle. Let's list these conditions required these conditions required to use this exploit. First, make connection using any BLE device to the vehicle and register for BLE events. Second, make sure the phone key is within the BLE range of 200 to 400 meters. And third, force the vehicle to get unlock code from the phone key. We will use this information to put together a custom key. First, Create a BLE connection with any BLE device and subscribe for BLE events. Also make sure to leave this device in the proximity of the vehicle so that the device can be treated as a phone key. Next, for the second condition, the phone key must be within the vehicle's BLE range of 200 to 400 meters. This is an easy task to achieve, an example being a car parked in the driveway and a phone in the house. Finally, the last condition is simply force the vehicle to get authentication code from the phone by opening any door on the vehicle. As soon as the door handle is pulled, the vehicle will send a request to phone for the authentication. The phone will comply with a valid unlock a code or a token to unlock vehicle since it does not detect pro proximity. This process results in an unlocked vehicle without the phone key. The same vulnerability could have been used in another way. Let's take a scenario in which we drive to some destination and we leave the vehicle under assumption that the vehicle uh, will lock itself on departure. But remember that the algorithm was not looking at the phone key, rather the device connected with the strongest signal strength. 
So all we needed to do is make a connection and subscribe to BLE events using laptop or a phone within the range to be treated as a phone key, which will be sufficient enough to block the vehicle from, from locking itself. I reported uh, this vulnerability to uh, Tesla as soon as I completed my research. As expected, Tesla confirmed this issue and rewarded me on a bug crowd. That placed me in the top 50 spots in Tesla Hall of Fame with 40 points for reporting P1 vulnerability. Here is a video of the demo that I recorded back in April 2020. So I'm gonna uh, go over to my laptop and I'm going to uh, run my exploit script and then I will try to open the door and you will see car will get unlocked. So I step back. So I ran an uh, exploit, I, I executed it on my laptop, I step to the door and then I open it. And you can see, if you have noticed the uh, mirrors, they, they fold when it is locked and they unfold when the car is unlocked. Uh, as soon as I approach the, uh, the car and I ran my script, the car got unlocked and it allowed me to uh, you know, get in. And as soon as I walk from the car, you might have noticed now it locked back. So this exploit works as, as if like, you know, you are carrying a, a phone key. My app Voice for Tesla is live on App Store. If you would like to check out app's functionality, feel free to download it. The link to download the app is in the description down below. Thank you for watching.